What's going on you guys? Team Tune Rose here, bringing you guys another deck profile video. Of course, you know me, Cammy Voice the Channel, accompanied and followed by, I always, Jackie Boy. How we doing today, buddy? We are doing it. So today is brought by a, you know, viewer request. You know, it's a little bit of a viewer request. They they need some help. And, and we're doing a little legal exodia. Say this is this is our take on uh, Exodia. It's uh, we have we have been uh, throwing our heads together, brainstorming, running multiple multiple ideas, and uh, this is honestly the best one we probably could come up with. So there's a couple other cards you could probably interchange to make it a little bit better, but as it stands, this deck runs pretty solid. It's pretty fast, and uh, <laughs> let's get into it. So first for our Exodia deck. We're running three. Uh, we're gonna be running three blue eyes white dragons. Um, and mind you, all the card, most of the cards in here, are meant for discarding, uh, minus the Exodia pieces, and a couple other cards. But most of the cards in this deck are you're gonna be you know shuffling out to get uh, Exodia. So, but we do have three blue eyes white dragons. Of course, we have the left arm, the left leg, the right arm, the right leg, and we have the head. Of the Forbidden One. Gotta have it for any Exodia deck. Because you want that instant win condition. Next, we're gonna be having a Blue Eyes Toon Dragon for uh, our Toon Table contents to, you know, to get into there and, you know, for a pitch. Then, uh, next, we're running three Debris Dragons. I say, uh, Debris Dragons, you can play because uh, when, when it is normal summon, you can target a monster with 500 less attack in the graveyard and special summon it in attack position. You negate its effects, and it cannot be used as synchro material except for synchro summoning of a dragon monster. The other synchro material cannot be a level four. Um, but Debra's dragon would, I say, will uh, will use it to you know grab white stone or yeah white stone. So yeah, there is that uh, that potential combo. They obviously we have Exodia, the forbidden one. Then Summoner's Monk. Summoner's Monk is going to be a key play into. Link, you know, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good for Link summoning or XE summoning. But uh, Summoner's Monk, while this card is face up on the field, it cannot be attributed. If this card is normal or flip summoned, change the uh, this card to defense position. Once per turn, you can discard one spell, special summon one level four monster from your deck, but that monster cannot attack the turn. So we are running three of these Summoner Monks. We are running three the White Stone of Legends. I say when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand. So if we send a white stone, we get to bring a uh, blue eyes from our deck to our hand. It's deck thinning. Next, we got a cards of uh, uh, cards of continents. You discard a dragon tuner with thousand or less attack, and you get to draw two cards. This can be used for white stone or Debra's dragon. So we are running three of those. Next, we're running two field barriers. Now this is probably an important card that you don't want to pitch too often, but if you need pitch it if you need to. But field barrier, uh, field, uh, field spell cards on the field cannot be destroyed. Neither player can activate a new field spell card. You can only control one field barrier. Now, field barrier is going to be for our our field spell, Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind. If your opponent controls more monsters than you do, your opponent cannot activate monster effects or declare an attack. If you control more monsters than your opponent does, you cannot activate monster effects or declare an attack. Once per turn during the end phase, if both players control the same number of monsters, destroy this card. Now I will say, Mystic Mind, if you do not have Field Barrier on the field, you do not want to play this when there's no monsters on the field, because it will destroy itself and it's our only one. Um, so if you, you really want to have Field Barrier in your hand when you play Mystic Mind, or you want your opponent to have a monster on the field before you play Mystic Mind. Uh, but, these two, but Field Barrier and Mystic Mind go really good together. Uh, next, we're going to be running Magical Mallet. You can shuffle any number of cards from your hand or the, into the deck, then draw the same number of cards. So if we have seven, you know, we have nine cards in our hand, we play Magic Mallet. We can put eight, uh, all eight cards back in our hand or back into our deck and draw eight more. We're running three Magical Mallets. Next, we're running One Day of Peace. Each player draws a card, and neither player takes damage until the end of the opponent's next turn. It's a good way to, you know, stall for damage. Uh, Pod Duality. You excavate the top three cards of your deck, add one of them into your hand, shuffle the rest back into your deck, and you can only activate one pot of duality per turn. Now, you cannot uh, you cannot special summon during the turn you activate this card, so keep that in mind. Uh, next, we're running Pot of Extravagance. Pot of Extravagance at the beginning, uh, at the start of your main phase, 
uh, main phase one. Banish three or six random face down cards from your extra deck. Draw one card for every three cards banished. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot draw any cards by a card effect. So if you do decide to play Pod Extravagance right away, just note you're not going to be able to draw any more cards. So keep that in mind. Uh, and I believe after Pod Extravagance, you cannot special summon either, if I remember correctly. Uh, Super Rejuvenation. During the end phase of the turn, this card was activated. Draw a number of cards equal to the combined number of dragon monsters you discarded or attributed from your hand or the field this turn. So Blue Eyes, Whitestone, Debris, Toon, all of those, if we pitch them, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the turn we activate Super Rejuvenation, we get to draw a card. So it, you really want to use Super Rejuvenation for when you pitch a card, you know, when you're pitching uh, dragon cards. Next, we're running two table contents. Simple, add one tune card from your deck to your hand. It's a very easy way to burn four cards out of the deck. Uh, just keep in mind, if you do have two, two two table contents in your hand, you are gonna have an extra card to, you know, pitch. You could use it as a face down to, you know, throw your opponent off, because some people will get a little wary when, you, when your opponents have face downs. Uh, next, we're gonna be running uh, three trade-ins. You discard one of the late monster and draw two cards. That's where the blue eyes come into play. Yes, we have four, but we can. It, you know, it's always better to have a little, a little extra. And then we have Upstart Goblin. You draw a card, and then your opponent gains a thousand life. Easy. Next, we're gonna be going on to the extra deck. The extra deck was to, to fine tune it as we have. It, it did take some time. So we're gonna be running a shooting, uh, shooting riser dragon. Uh, tuner, not uh, tuner, one plus non-tuner monsters. This card is Secret Summon. You can send one monster from your deck to the graveyard whose level is lower than this card on the field. If you do, reduce that card's level by that monster. But for the rest of the turn, you cannot activate the effect of monsters with the same name the sent monster had in the graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. Once per chain during your opponent's main phase, you can immediately, you can immediately after this effect resolves, Secret Summon using this card you control. And that's going to be for Vermilion Dragon Mech. Uh, one tuner plus one non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, you can banish one tuner from your hand, graveyard, or face up, uh, face up field, and target one card on the field. Destroy it. If this secret summon card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished tuners and add it to your hand. Next, we're gonna we have two, uh, two number sixty, uh, Digress the Timeless. There are two level four monsters, and this is where the summoner's monk comes into play. Uh, you can attach two materials from this card and then activate one of the following effects. You can skip your next draw phase and draw two cards, then discard one card. You can skip your next main phase and special summon one monster from your graveyard in a defense position. Or you can skip the battle phase of your next turn and double the attack of one monster you control until the end of the turn. You can only use the effect of number 60, uh, number 60 once per turn. Obviously you only use it once per turn, there's only two materials. Um, now, we are we are probably going to be really focusing on the skip your next draw phase and draw two cards because that's an easy deck then. Just be careful because you will not, if, if it can screw you, so just be careful when you use it. Uh, next, we're going to be using uh, Palooza, Bow the Goddess. It's a two plus monster with different names, except tokens. You, uh, you control only one Palooza Bow the Goddess. The original attack of this card becomes 800 uh, times the number of linked materials used for this link summon. Once per chain, your opponent activates a monster effect. You can make this card lose exactly 800 attack, and if you do, negate the act the activation. So pretty simple, pretty uh, pretty straightforward, honestly. She can uh, a Palooza Bow the Goddess can uh, come in uh, pretty clutch for uh, negating, come, you know, just negating stuff. Then we got Kriston Halkovrex. Love his name. Uh, two monsters, including a tuner. If this card is Link Summon, you can uh, special summon one level three or lower tuner from your hand or deck in defense position, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. During your opponent's main phase or battle phase, you can banish this. You can banish this card. Uh, special summon one tuner synchro monster from your extra deck. You can only use the, uh, each effect of Kriston Halfabrix once per turn. So Hal Bricks is a good way to go into. Right, uh, it's a good way to go into Riser, isn't it? Jack. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, uh, I think we can go into uh, Pfizer, and it should be able to go into the Vermilion, pretty sure. Next, we're going to be using Deco Talker. Two plus effect monsters, it gains 500 attack for each monster uh, it points to. When your opponent activates a card or an effect that targets a card you control, you contribute one monster uh, this card points to to get the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Deco Talker uh, can come in clutch pretty, uh, pretty quickly. 
Next, we're going to be running three Galaxy Satellite Dragons. Why is this the only one we're running three of? Because <laughs> of this effect. During the battle phase, quick effect, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard and target one number XYZ monster you control, whose original at uh, attribute type are Light Dragon. Until the end of the battle, uh, until the end of the battle phase, it be uh, its attack becomes equal to the value of the number in its name times 100. Also, any battle damage your opponent takes is halved, uh, but this is the real effect that we want. During your opponent's end phase, you can choose one card from your deck and place it on top of your deck. You can only use the effect, uh, each effect of Galaxy Satellite Dragon once per turn. Galaxy Satellite Dragon is probably the main card you want to go into to help you get those Exodias because you have, like just having one, you're gonna guaranteed one piece of Exodia, and if you already have three in your hand, two turns. Boom. Yep. Uh, next we have Nightmare Unicorn from our previous videos you guys have seen. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, you discard a card and you can target a card in the field, return it to the deck. If this card is co-linked with, uh, with this effect is activated, you can draw one card. Uh, once per turn, while a co-linked Nightmare Monster are on the field, eh, you don't have to worry about that ability, but you can draw one card for each different card name uh, co-linked monster, a Nightmare Monster. Next, we're going to be running two Relinquished Animos, you know, one of Jack's favorite cards to, pl uh, to play. Uh, one level, one monster, except a token. You can target one face-up monster this card points to and equip the face-up monster of this card. You can only use the effect of Relinquished Animal once per turn. This card gains attack equal to that equipped monster. So they do have, uh, if they you know, made a silly and put it right in the column, you know, a strong 3500 monster, boom, Relinquished Animal will get you that uh, 3500 monster. You don't even have to attack with it. <laughs> then you got Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians. Two plus monsters, including a Spellcaster monster. This card is Link Summoned. Place spell counters on this card equal to the number of spells on the field and in the graveyards. While an uh, Endemon monster, uh, while Endemon cards are uh, are on the field, your opponent monsters cannot target this card for attacks. Once per turn during your main phase, you can remove three spell counters from this card. Special summon one spellcaster monster from your hand or graveyard in the defense position to your zone, uh, to the zone this card points to. Now, Jack, what is the purpose of this card uh, being in the deck? Um, it gives us a, a good link to replay and potentially a negate at some point. Oh, uh, so this is more for like Nightmare Unicorn. Uh, yeah. Link to yeah, it's or like if our Nightmare Unicorn gets away, or like if uh, some of them... it's just uh, potentially more often since we do run a spellcaster. And last but not least, uh, we are gonna be running Triple Burst Dragon. Two plus monsters except tokens. Once per turn during the damage step, when a spell or trap card is or when a spell trap card or monster effect is activated, you can negate the activation. If this card attacks a defense position monster, inflict piercing damage. During your main phase, except this turn, uh, this uh, except the turn this card was uh, special summoned. You can tribute this card and target one link two or lower monster in the graveyard. Special summon it, then you can special summon one level four or lower dragon monster from your hand. So triple burst dragon has a pretty good uh, you know gate effect, but uh, you know just use triple burst dragon at your discretion. And it's pretty it is, it is pretty powerful if you uh, are in a pinch. Per se, but like I said earlier, we're gonna be you know ma mainly focusing onto the Galaxy Satellite Dragon. It's the one we want to get out. I want to draw an extra I, card. I like, I like my heart racing. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, we're we're, we're set. We got two table continents, card of continents. Right. two table continent, card uh, of continents. Uh, I would uh, do two table first. Let's get rid of the two tables. Yeah, yeah. I almost grabbed blue. And this back. is a very <laughs> cool combo piece right here, right? Because. We can, uh, after this uh, whole thing is done here, right? We pitch to go grab another blue glass. We normal summon Dare mm -hmm. here, right? And that's what gets us into, uh, we can go straight, we can get a satellite dragon out. Oh, that's true. Well, yeah, we can. So I'll go ahead and summon. No, 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 no. We need to pitch separate. We need to pitch the, uh, other card first. Because it, it, it finds the two, it finds the card in our graveyard. Oh, I find my reset very good. Sorry. Womp womp. But womp womp hold on. Womp. It's alright. We can still we can still we can still get it out. Uh, 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 uh just, hold on, Mister Albert. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's a lot good now. Okay. Our racing, our racing, our racing, our racing is a clock. Oh, it's at the end. Oh, yeah, that's gone. <laughs> I 
Prepared up as a I thought you said after we pitched, we get the last blue eyes to, to play it. Uh, that was that was a miss. That was uh, that's on me. That's we do have extravagance though. Okay, yeah, bullet. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Watch all three. All three satellites go to the graveyard or go to the banished pile. I'll I'll cry. I'll I'll cry a little bit. <laughs> oh, we got missing mine though. All right, so now. Uh, looks like two satellites. It's all, oh, we only have one satellite left. Okay, so okay, so we're still okay. So now. We refix the situation. We got a missing my fill barrier. And now we still activate uh so we do another Jervis here. We can do what we're supposed to do. Alright, so missing mine fill barrier, going to Debris, and then Okay. Yeah. This is the card is just like despite this card that one in this game. Like this man is just stupid, dude. Nah, I agree. Grab Whitestone. Then we can go the ahead and do satellite. Oh, oh uh, looking at the, uh, what we're looking at here, it looks like, um, if our card stays alive, uh, uh, looks like we're gonna get a, uh, I, I'm starting to think a trade in is probably the best one. And then we, all, we don't have three blue eyes in our hands or anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Alright, so just enter. Just the level of people's monster is best. And as long as we have Field Barrier out, Mystic Mind can't be destroyed! Okay, let's just destroy the Field Barrier. Activate the Field Card Continents? Uh, trade. Trade. Card Continents. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, trade. Yeah, the, that. You know, what I, you know what I meant. Okay, so we'll trade in. Go ahead and pitch. Uh, go ahead and pitch that blue eyes. We got another. Hey, we got another. Oh, oh, we got another trade in. I'll just uh, go ahead and trade in. Hey, we got another trade in. Three for three. Let's go. Oh, I wish we would have a super rejuvenation before. Well, it's still fine. It what? doesn't matter. Rejuvenation will activate even if we already got rid of everything. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought you had to activate it before. No, nah, okay. it's just, uh, it has to be the same turn. Now, do you want to go into Summer, do you want to go into the Summoner Monk play, or what? Uh, so, let's wait call Chief. Let's see what we draw, and then let's see what we need to go with to do. Okay. Uh, so we have a card in continent, we have two cards in continents with Whitestone in hand. Uh, let's so honestly, rid of we could just we, one we could just pitch us up and a card of continents. And a card of continents. Alright. Because we have that free access to searching for that one. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you want to go ahead and just grab an exodia piece? Um, yeah. Uh, I see no reason why not. I think we're we're pretty good. We're in a pretty good spot. Yeah. They also really wanted to gamble the rest of the. Game over the deal. Mystic Mind being able to shoot the card we want? Yeah, why not? Galaxy Dragon, you mean? <laughs> Whatever that card is, bro. It doesn't matter. It's just, I see it's so. I'm going to see Galaxy Dragon. Boom! Galaxy Dragon. Let's go! That card that card's just Peter, six cards are going to be Yeah, I was going to say, Mystic Mind with, with two, uh, the barrier is. Mystic Mind, really barrier, play. satellite. They're, they're just six going to be the extenders. That's all they are. Oh, but there, there you go, guys. That's uh, you know that's our legal Exodia deck. Uh, you know it, it was a you know viewer request deck that they wanted some help with. So this is our take on it. Uh, anything else you want to say, Jack? Uh, no, that's it. I'm uh, you know, feel, feel the wrath of Exodia. Feel the wrath of Exodia. There it is. Uh, if you guys need help with a deck, uh, go ahead and post down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Or you know we'll just go ahead and send you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> As, uh, you know, us true duelists like to say, but I'm Kami, he's Jack, we're both Team Toon Rose, and we guys, we will see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye-bye!